Hello. Hi everyone. Today we are going with the presentation Psychoanalytic Criticism. And this is the main chapter. That means it is the one of the chapter that we seen in the uh, book. So we group three is leading with this page. And uh, I have got that mothers and doctor. Sorry, mothers, doctor. And the other one is reader response and these two what these two theories is very simple and this means all uh, that is our uh, it's our day-to-day -day life and it is not experienced by the other pupils it's only up to our own life so it's very easy very simple and it's also very interesting so first of all we are going with the first side uh, first slide of mother's doctor here Hansi Chodro focuses on mother-daughter relationship in her classic work, Reproduction and Mothering. Reproduction and Mothering is the main work of Nancy Chodro in 1978. In this, in her book, uh, she mainly says about the relationship between the mother and uh, her daughter. That means, that means we could see that uh, in our life, that is, we people, so almost all our friends are married. So there will be the very well relationship with our mother and also same to daughter. From this we can say that they were the best friends ever from her birth till her death. So we can say that it's very good relationship. And Nancy Chaudros is also says that they are being a good relationship with her mother and his experiences and hear her thoughts, her things and everything will be sharing with these theories. Some of her arguments that I have listed is it's very simple. It's nothing about a simple life. The mother experienced their daughter as their doubles as an extension of their own life. Daughters find it difficult to form their own identities because they have a strong tendency and care. The core identity of a woman which identifies as narcissism, lack of self-control, weak ego boundaries, proceeds from their inabilities to discover autonomy from their mother, daughter, turns to father who represents the outside world. From her four arguments, it's quite natural in every girl life and it's also very simple and these are the held being uh, what uh, it is being seen from our day-to-day -day life from these arguments we are focusing on some of these points uh, we could say that boys boys are the masculine genders is also achievable to the relationship with the mother she recognizes and emphasizes gender differences between uh, she that means the mother and the child boy. And he, sorry, she encourages the masculine to discover autonomy from her, also experiences to separate themselves. Oedipus' complex and relationship with the father works differently. The girls who stays attached in a narcissistic relationship, nature and care, boys discover their masculine gender through independence. From these, we can say that we know that the boys, that means they are the masculine gender. And uh, first of all, we will care such the same to the child, no more matters with the girl and okay boy. But after they are get adolescents and they are teenagers and they are maturing day to day, the mother will ask him to get be independent from out of her care. That means uh in between the mother the mother is also a facing some sort of what a, a path to make him a good life that means she is also encouraging or emphasizing the boys to be a path to the other way and other it's one point and the other one is uh the oedipus complex and uh, the relationship between the fathers is works very entire different between the man that means the boy and a girl we know that in our homes the boys and girls that means the sisters and brothers the father will become what uh, some sort of difference in there that means not a partiality 
and uh, they will differentiate characterizes the mother sorry uh, the sisters and the brothers it's quite natural and we could see that in our home okay and uh, the boys get uh, the boys gets in uh, disco sorry the boys discover their masculine gender through the independence when the boys is get independent that means they are trying to get the autonomy apart from their mother that is to uh, make sort of what it could lead to uh, her family so these are the some of the argues that could we can focuses from this uh, what words by nancy chodro and the very important uh, point is women women that is a mother and a daughter is the first and the best example for the first series who feel something about the feminism it's very very important from this theory that is we know that the mother a daughter is to what female character and these female characters will experiences that means they will share us their experiences their sorrows and uh, we can say is that they are building they are the first series who making the something about the feminism so this is very important from this uh, theory of nancy chodro that is mother daughter it's very simple and it is very quite natural in our life and uh, what it's very interesting and the next point that means the next part of this psychoanalysis criticisms and my topic is reader response criticism from this reader response criticism we can uh, first uh, when we are talking sorry when we are hearing the topic itself we can say that it is something related to the text yeah it's something related to the text what text it's related to the reader and the responder responses to the text uh, over the so- society or anyway so we know that the text text is something that have written by one persons and if that persons is giving that book to other persons to read what their perspectives their personal their fears desires and everything and they are writing something about into the what would pulped pages and they are founded to and founded and they are presenting to us so from this uh, read a response criticisms what are the points are been says we can say we can discuss okay response life in the readers experience to the text that means we know that when a readers get readers reads read read this text of course the reader have some responses or he have something about what it may be very good opinion or the okay it's opposite will be from this experiences the re- responses is only up to the reader we that means the author have no any more uh, what the uh, partiality or they have any anything to do from the responses by the readers so it's only up to the reader and uh, from the each line by line of the text it will persist deeper meanings with a certain expectation think that the uh, the words that means the alphabets together means to be a words and the group of the words need to be a sentences from this each and every sentence in a text is consists of metaphor simile and many other rhyming schemes and all everything from this we can we, the from this we people are building our future so it's very quite interesting and everything and uh, okay in a uh, dynamic of literary response which has issued it in 1968 that proposed that the readers use literary text to fulfill their fantasies some of the the dynamic of literary responses is one of the book uh, okay one of the book 
and from this books it's mainly clear that readers uses this types of literary text to fulfill their fantasies uh, and uh, fantasies okay and their emotions to be a guy to become very happy and everything so some people will carry these books as their events or for their sake of pleasure enjoyable and all skilled readers interact text by connection between the other part of the text the skilled readers some the skilled readers means of those are persons who have the behavior or uh, what uh, okay behavior of reading books so they may be very skilled and they are technified to get or grasp some sort of these words easily so these are the skilled readers these skilled readers will interpret the text by connection between the all the other part of the text and they will connect between the other text and they will compare which one is the best or which one is acceptable and whether it will give me pleasure or not it's also since in our life okay so what connections is they are uh, interrupting the connection may related to fear and desire of the reader that means the readers fear and desires are the connections they are used the word connection about the point so the other one is the literature become an enjoyable because they are open they are personal moments as forms and it transforms to significance and coherence which gives a pleasure we are we say that we know that literature is very vast area to be studied by uh, we literature students okay this literature is very enjoyable and it gives a pleasure because what and the readers are getting the authors the or the writers what their moments their personal moments are descripted in these pages sometimes the readers will get what a uh, pleasure from this text or sometimes they will be de- disappointed because of their writings of the re- uh, writers and all uh, uh, from all apart we can understand that they are enjoying this series reading and identity in 1979 holland says that expectation is putting the literary work in sequence of a person's wishes in time Uh, reading and identities is a book a famous book which was issued in 1979 and it is written by holland the holland sorry holland says that expectations is putting the literary work in the sequence of a person's wishes in time in a literature text that means a work that writ- write, written by the persons uh, mainly upon their wishes some sort of their wishes are scripted at a time as a result the readers will of course will get the pleasure while having these scripted pages for their time and the other point is in five readers reading in 1975 it's also written by holland from this holland specs that every readers have a core identity that generates a particular kind of reacting when it interacts with the text from this from this book holland says that a person that means a person who reads we know that they were readers these readers have a core identity that means they have the inner part to be grasped from the pages that was written by the other they could that person can generate the particular kind of reacting this people can what generate the particular kind of reacting when it interact with the text the next point is readers respond to the literature in terms of their own lifestyle of course we can say that some people that means we, we can take some around examples that some of us will feel us very lazy to read so such persons when reads uh, very good stories they could and uh, they may find a uh, yeah it's not good i couldn't understand and they will say blah 
blah blah it's nothing it's not more and uh, everything so it is a point to our lifestyles if we pupils are searching or we pupils are reading in a good manner we say it as it's a good book okay fine a good i like it and they will follow the particular writer for their lifestyle so from this we can say that the lifestyles is determining you know, whether the literature literature the book response good or bad up totally we can say that it's up to reader holland and isers argued that every sentences in a literary work set up a particular ex- expectations so every work that are written by any other writers they have some sort of a expectation some things they want to be re- release their fear their desires and they want to mimic up to what till they were went they feel the literature that means their works are found to be their second life that means they are found to live alone live alone and alone so they will take a uh, second birth by through their pages mm, yeah uh, okay the means it offers open up a particular horizon so their creative works are open up to a particular horizon up to a particular horizon they are open their minds and they are grasping what to be a good second birth generation it's not only a physique or readers mind determination the meaning of a test there is other persons we know that the uh, the writer wanted his views that means his thoughts and his quality his desires fears are you know, how to open to the culture society for in sake of to know they have to know their feelings are all but in other words there are uh, other writers those who do not wanted to show their quality that means they do not wanted to know their perspectives in their text so they will uh, write their works in in a curved way this uh, one such example is stanley fish is a good writer uh, it's may it is not to be in interpretive communities his work does not want to know what he uh, in uh, what his text in depth or me so stanley fish work is almost every his works is he does not want to know his work what it get in the grass what means what uh, what is included in her text in his text so he will use this in a curved way of pages so these there is uh, these texts also be accepted in our words so it will be very difficult to grasp you know he understood what the reader consumes on their reads he wondered that the book that read of his that means the reader want to get what his text is consumed in it so his major Mm, his uh, major sorry his major interest is the readers want to consume what his text is interacted what his text is correlated and uh, for next one so the readers reading practices or strategies behaves that means becomes their projects as an chance physiological person but also a cultural and social on two texts and uh, thus makes meaning out of it so from this uh, and uh, such types of textbooks is also being taken as a uh, project assumptions and they will what they will criticize us about such books and they will research us for their uh, work for to analyze their cultural social and psychological personalities and all and they will make their meaning of the text what we have written so these are my two topics mother daughter reader response criticism and i hope you guys get understood that and uh, okay thank you
Thank you.